Hey Havran, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhyperinvestment.com. Very quick video on Selenium regarding headless mode. Recently we discussed one video how to run Selenium test in headless mode, but this video was in Chrome browser. So if you are complete new to headless mode, I would highly recommend you to watch this video. In this video we discussed what is headless, why do we need it, and how do we do in Chrome. Recently I got a comment uh, by Sayed that can you make a video on the same topic with edge browser so we'll quickly see how we can run the selenium test in headless mode with edge browser precondition obviously you should have selenium configured use java uh, 17 or 11 make sure the edge browser is installed in my case this is a project which i already have it's a maven project i'm using gre 11 and the latest version of selenium which is 4.16.1 so I will go ahead and create a new package. Uh, let's say this is edge test. And I will quickly create a Java class. Let's say test in headless mode. I will take public static void main, but if you're using JUnit or testng, please go ahead and use that because our main focus is on the headless mode. Now, if you want to customize your browser preferences options we have to use options class so if you write normal statement like web driver driver equal to new edge driver and if you say get method if you pass any url it will start in headed mode now when i say headed mode it means the browser you can see on the screen it will be up and running and it will run your application depends what steps you are doing it will perform the op steps so if i simply run this now just to show you how the headed browser will look like so you can see chrome is sorry edge is getting started and this is how you can see it also shows microsoft edge is being controlled by automated test software it means selenium is running this session now the same session you want to run in headless mode you have to use options class now, depends on which browser you're using, you have to use the same options class. For example, if you're using Chrome, then use Chrome options. If you're using Firefox, use Firefox options. If you're using Edge, Edge options. In our case, we're using Edge. So I will quickly create object of this. I'm giving name as OPT, but you can give any name. Now you need to call one method called add arguments. And this method is overloaded. When I say overload it, same method, but with different arguments. Now, when I say different argument right now, the first argument is list of string. Second argument is string with varags, which is variable length argument. Now, if you want to add multiple options, you can create list and add it. If you would want to directly add, you can add it here. So I will use this and I will be using one argument called hyphen hyphen headless now there's a small catch here this argument there was a recent article base it's not recent it's actually almost one year last year 29th january 2023 they mentioned that if you want to run your test in headless mode initially we used to write hyphen hyphen headless which i was showing you right if you want to do now you have to use hyphen hyphen headless equal to new after 109 at the time of recording this session the current browser version is 120 or 121 it is above 109 right so we have to use this argument called hyphen hyphen headless equal to new now i can remove this and just add here that's all we need to do once this option is ready you can pass in the constructor that's all now, if I show you once again, you can see this edge driver have many constructor, right? This one with zero argument constructor, which we used already. One arg one constructor which says edge driver with edge driver service. Third constructor, which you see is edge option, which we already created, right? So I will pass OPT here. Now, whatever test you will be writing, it will be running in the headless mode and you will not see anything on the screen. So what I will do, I will just 
try to print the title I am printing the title because it will just execute and give us the title but irrespective of how many steps you have the test will run in the headless mode now you will not see anything on the screen so let's execute you can see the service is running right but you will not see anything on the UI it will execute quickly give you the title and it will close I'm using driver.quit and here we go the title of Google is Google so nothing much here but you can continue with your steps so quick recap you need to create object of edge options if you're using Chrome browser edge browser or Firefox browser above 109 use hyphen hyphen headless equal to new now Firefox have different versions but this uh, option is mainly for edge and Chrome above 109 hyphen hyphen headless equal to new below 109 hyphen hyphen headless once you're done with that argument pass that argument in the constructor and we're good to go so I hope this would be uh, very helpful if you want to run headless mode in case this video helped please do support this channel share this video with your friends colleague let me know if you face any issue and I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care